Well, it's a full look at that roster there, George. Well, one player that is standing out is Thomas Abercrombie. He's averaging 20 points, and he's shooting 57% from the field. So he has had a very successful tournament individually so far, but he's going to have it really tough tonight. Let's see what he does against Team USA. Here's the starting lineup with Kirk Penny at the guard, Mika Bukona at forward, Thomas Abercrombie, we spoke about him at forward, Rob Lowe at a forward, but he's more of a center, and Ty Webster at the guard. And for the United States, a lot of uh, names, but sort of felt like uh, Coach K was pretty much used to his rotation the other night. A lot more players stayed on the floor for longer periods of time. Well, I think that he was forced to do that in the second half when uh, it was tie score there at the, at the halftime against Turkey. So I think he's going to give a lot. He's going to go back to distributing the minutes equally today. The starting lineup, Stephen Curry at guard, Kenneth Fareed at forward, Kyrie Irving at the guard. James Harden at forward and Anthony Davis at the center. So he's keeping the same, same starting lineup in the tournament as or he's keep, same starting lineup in the first two games. Very difficult to say who you should focus on because all these players are high quality players capable of spectacular performance of any time. And I think here we're going to see the Haka that you spoke about. Well. Sit back and enjoy it, folks. This is what New Zealand sports teams do, and the Tall Blacks are no different. Well, welcome to Bilbao. Welcome to Bilbao. It's the 2014 FIBA Basketball World Cup Group C game between the United States and New Zealand. The Tall Blacks wearing the black will be attacking the basket to your left, and the United States wearing the white over to the right. And the United States win that opening tip as they continue the defense of the title they won back in uh, 2010 and a traveling call against. Steph Curry here at the very beginning, and Mike yeah. Krzyzewski has a glare for the Serbian referees. <laughs> he walks past. Yeah, but I mean, even if you go back to the first two games of the American team, I think that the players just had it very difficult there with the how the referees judge the, the traveling violation. They're just going to have to get used to it. Well, Eric and Adaman talked about the rules after the last game, and Ty Webster went in and just had the ball taken away from Anthony Davis. I think you just need to stay very conservative with whatever you do with the ball inside of the paint. Well, the pass. Steph Curry from the left corner. Oof, if, he get, if he gets hot, it's, it's one shooter to worry about because he's deadly. He wasn't dead on in the last game, but in the first game, he was just hitting about everything. Well, something that Turkey did was they had great tempo. You see the pass right. over to Kirk Penny for the two. Right back at you. Another superb shooter that the Tall Blacks get at their disposal. Kirk Penny, 3-3. Three, three. Thought Abercrombie might go up for that. He was up around the rim, but decided to pass it. Hand in the face of Lee there in the Dan Anthony Davis's face. I think they'd rather have him that far away from the basket rather than in the lane. Vukona hands it off to Abercrombie, puts it up at the free throw line. And Rob Lee flies in there, but Fareed with uh, one of the many rebounds that he's going to collect tonight. Now Harden. Rob Lowe fouled on that rebound. So Rob Lowe, who played uh, college basketball in America the last four years in St. Louis for the Billikens, is uh, well aware of uh, these U.S. players. And we spoke about him a lot. I mean, we like his potential. I mean, he's got such a nice outside shooting touch. I mean, he's got a body. He's got the arms and everything. If he just gets a little bit tougher and is willing to sacrifice his body, get some contact underneath the basket and draw some fouls, I think he'll be a complete player. USA coaching staff. 
you know, the USA haven't lost a game since 2006 in the semifinals against Greece, so they're on quite a winning streak. That's a long time to, since they've been beaten. We hear the Kiwis, the Kiwi fans, supporting the, making the long trip and supporting the team. Well, Penny gets in the lane and has a good shot, but Irving goes up for the board. Irving gets in, has it blocked by Ty Webster. Now, quickly, Penny, one on two. Is he going to go all the way? And Harden just takes it away. Now it's a, a two on one fast break, and alley oop pass! Oh, oh. Big dog to host, baby! The elevator man. If you don't punish the USA, they have that ability to come right back at you. Bacona gets it to Rob Lowe. Fareed just takes it away. Now Irving pulls up. And Fareed takes over and just rebounds right over Abercrombie. And Kenneth Fareed, was, he got the rebound, and he, he was running down the floor. He was signaling for the lob. <laughs> he just really tries hard. It was a little bit frustrated that Kyrie Irving took that shot. But when he missed it, he made sure it was going in. Kenneth Fareed just really looks like he wants to be here and compete to the, every second on the floor. Ty Webster, the jumper. It's good. Well, I suppose in a way he's kind of showcasing his talents in this game. Now up, Whoa! it goes Whoa! to Fareed. What a spectacular play. I mean, Steph Curry was throwing that pass from half court or past half court. What an electric start for the United States. And that's what all these fans just came to see. The show, look at that it right is. here. Showtime from Curry to Fareed. And the did hammer you, home. But did you see how long that pass was? I mean, this is not easy, but what a dead on pass by Steph Curry. Precise. Surgical. Bacona goes baseline and uses the glass. And I think he may have caught Anthony Davis. Uh, so Davis is uh, running down the floor, squinting. A little bit shaken there, Anthony Davis. I thought he maybe with the elbow in the face. I think maybe the hand. Maybe we'll see a replay at some point. Now Fareed trying to uh, go to work against Vacona. And Fareed goes up strong. And uh, even though he was surrounded by what looked like three players, just goes up with ease and I scores. Mean, what do you do with him? I mean, he. Picks up the ball, makes the pivot, just steps through so strong. I mean, did you see the balance? I mean, how he was composed? There's nothing to look at that one more time. Loses the ball almost, but then gets the control of it and steps through. Such a strong move right there by the big man. Now, as Farid goes to the free throw line, uh, DeMarcus Cousins uh, has entered the game, and Anthony Davis has checked out to have that, that injury seen to. We aren't sure exactly what happened on the play, and Cousins comes in and picks up the foul. I think it's a poked eye, just looking at Anthony Davis just sitting there. Well, let's hope he's going to be okay. It didn't look all that bad. Well, looks like they may have taken his contact. Has he yeah. wearing contacts? I think so. So Ty Webster has had a good start. How about Ty Webster? What an interesting prospect he's there for the New Zealand basketball. Yeah, you can see him getting the uh, solution there for his for his contact lens to put it back in. Yeah, well, Webster's a great you know FIBA three on three talent. Has gone to the American College game to play for Nebraska, but he's rejoined the Tall Blacks this summer. And Casey Frank has also come into that low post here early for Rob Lowe. What a tough defensive assignment for him. Casey Frank goes up against Cousins, and Cousins, I'll look at Fareed. I, I'm not sure there's a harder worker in the game of basketball than Kenneth no. Fareed. No. I mean, he works all the time. This was a situation right here. I don't know. I didn't see anything at all, so it must have been well, a lens. The steal for the USA, and then Curry throws the ball away. Look at Kenneth Fareed. He's pressuring the ball. 
I mean, come on, this guy is incredible. Casey Frank shows he knows what he's supposed to do to help get the ball in bounds. Now Penny. And a foul. That's Another a holding. foul called on Cousins or Curry? No, Curry. It's got to be Curry from the back. The he was check. holding the dribbler out. <laughs> Still a first one for Steph Curry. Abercrombie goes up against Harden now. Irving is on Penny. Finds his way through. One on the shot clock. And Abercrombie just does get it off in the rebound for Penny. Now Ty Webster for three. Misses pretty much everything. And quickly up it goes to Curry. Back to Harden. And he draws the foul. So two free throws Too for James Harden. I almost thought that James Harden was going to go there for the dunk for a second. Uh, this is USA Basketball. You get a rebound, and you immediately look for the fast break. You look for the easy points. That's what Coach K has been saying the whole time. We try for our defense to create points on offense. That's the easy recipe. Well, sighs of relief probably will be breathed over there on the uh, New Zealand bench with Fareed going out of the game and Rudy Gay coming in. But Gay can also get up and down the floor well and play very big inside. I think he's got a, he's a little bit more of a shooter than Farid. Farid is an incredible athlete who likes to take it on the inside more than from the outside. On the other side, Rudy Gay can really stroke it from all the way up to the three-point line, no problem. So he's, he's given him a little bit different look. Tremendous crowd here in Bilbao, as has been the case uh, for most of the games here at the FIBA Basketball World Cup. Look at the Fear the Beard sign. His popularity know, knows no bounds. Now, Lindsey Tate is in for Ty Webster. Lacona gets it over to Penny for three. And Penny needs to hit that shot for New Zealand. Oh, yeah, that was a good look for him. And uh, he's such a good shooter that you almost expect him to make it. And Cousins has the ball knocked out of his hands, but then Curry gets it and puts it up and in. Nice play there by Steph Curry. He likes to get there in the inside, makes it up, gets the rebound, quick put back. And that foul before the shot. And this is Bukona. I mean, for in the first two games that we saw, he really likes to bring the ball up. And he can put it on the floor anytime. He's now, a He's a hard-nosed player. And you see uh, Cousins coming out and Harden and Irving. And you've got Clay Thompson, Derrick Rose, and Anthony Davis checks back in. And Isaac Fotu and Corey Webster come in for New Zealand. So Penny takes a seat as well as Abercrombie for New Zealand. And Frank's pass to Vacona. It's tough. He gets it, puts it up. Nice spin move on the baseline from Mika Vacona. That was a beautiful move right there because Curry was trying to push him out and he used his momentum to spin around him. And Curry misses, but Davis is there for the rebound. How easy does he make it look at? What a beautiful move. Did you see the follow through with the wrist? He is really talented. I mean, he's got so much future ahead of himself. He does have a big future indeed. Nice pass to Webster on the baseline. And he put up uh, an air ball. Now Derrick Rose pulls up at the line. Good. Well, these USA players trying to maximize their minutes because they want to stay on the floor. Rose. But they try to push it at all costs. And Derrick Rose is one of the best ones to push it. So explosive. Webster's uh, looking a little bit shaky here in the early going. He's able to get it back with 21 seconds left. Good hustle from Steph Curry. I mean, he's also playing very hard today. Look at the situation right here. He loses the ball, just immediately dies on the floor. That's what you like to see. What you like to see. And this was a dunk by Anthony Davis on a fast break from Kyrie Irving. What a nice situation there. Big B.J. Anthony is on the floor for the Tall Blacks. 
They go big with Fotu, Anthony, and Frank. Seven on the shot clock. Webster puts up a tough jumper. That was difficult. He was guarded by Curry. Curry from the right. And Rudy Gay with the rebound. Back out to Curry. Good. This is the Golden State Warriors connection. Clay Thompson and Seth Curry. Steph Curry, I mean, how would you like to have these two shooters on your team? If one misses, the other one makes sure that it's going in. And look at Rose reach in there and take that ball away. Well, he doesn't take it away, but he ties him up. So the jump ball arrow goes over to New Zealand. So you gotta be careful on the handoff. Derek Rose, such an explosive player. I mean, if you expose the ball, he's gonna go for it. I also think, Jeff, that uh, Coach Vucini is gonna really distribute the minutes equally today, not to make his players start. Whoa! Oh, nice dunk from Casey Frank. Look at Casey Frank at 37. I mean, he just got up there. And speaking of fear of the beard, but now Anthony Davis goes down, and a foul is called on uh, Frank. And he wonders, what, what did I do? Pretty athletic play there by Casey Frank. I mean, even here on the challenge, this is it right here. Casey Frank just skies up. And Anthony Davis was fairly close. I mean, he was just going to go through there. Fareed still uh, catching his breath over there on the sideline. Shows how hard he works. He's been over there for a few minutes. 148 to go here in the opening quarter. You'll say now on top by 12. Corey Webster was having uh, his shirt tugged there, but he was able to get out and get that ball. Lindsey Tate to Fotu. That's good. Good pass, good play. And you know that Isaac Fotu likes to shoot the three. Just always hovers on the three. Rose quickly. Boy, four tall black shirts in there, and they finally get it away from Anthony Davis. I mean, he's got such a long reach. It's very difficult. Oh, look at Frank. Oh, what a great play. He faked the handoff, spun into the lane, but missed the shot. Now, Clay Thompson. Well, Do they punish you? If he had made that shot, that would have been terrific. But as it is, if you don't take advantage of the opportunity, sometimes you get punished quickly. I would say with the United States, it's more, more so it's almost all the time. Well, Webster finally gets one to go down. Look at that, the tall blacks just hang around, only nine point deficit. Frank. And Davis uh, denied. So good job defensively by Casey Frank. And they're going to hold it. They're not going to rush anywhere. There's a small difference there between the game clock and the shot clock, but they're going to run down. So the final seven seconds here. And the foul called. They had one foul to give. I'm not sure if that was the strategy, but he certainly did. So 6.7 seconds left. Well, I mean, the way Harden is looking around, I think that he's not too happy about the call. Nonetheless, they stopped the clock, so now the tall black is going to keep the ball for the last shot, I assume. Bother gives it to Frank. See if he goes hard. He goes right at Davis, puts up a tough shot. And, oh, and what about that? B.J. Anthony sneaks in there. Not a bad pass by Frank. Now, I think it's good, but they're going to just double check I think on the monitor good. after. No, I thought it, looking at the, at the backboard before it lit up, I thought it was well in time. Here we go. Look at this, Frank. No, no there was a pass. It was a play. Oh, it's close. It's very close. And the referee's right to go over and check it out. Here's another look. Oh, I think he did get it off literally in the nick of time. Yep, and the referee signals 
Good basket. So New Zealand trail just 27 to 20 against the United States here in this Group C game. Twenty-seven to twenty here. The United States leading New Zealand in the FIBA Basketball World Cup Group C game is day four of this competition. The United States, one of the teams uh, still unbeaten, and New Zealand have lost both of their games here in Group C, but giving a good account of themselves so far. And don't forget they lost a couple of tight games as well. New Zealand. Fareed goes inside, and now Cousins just. Kind of lost his concentration. I would say the, the rim blocked the, that dunk right there. I thought he was so high up that he th thought he was just going to throw it down. Foto for three. And B.J. Anthony coming in but can't get it out of Rose's hands. And this time Cousins goes up and just <laughs> lays it up off the glass. He made sure that that time. I mean, he wasn't going to throw it down. Some of the guys are laughing there at the bench, on the bench for Team USA. I'm sure he's going to get a hard time for that dunk that he missed. Webster. Webster just lost it into the hands of Rose. And then Rose comes in and missed the layup incredibly. So missed shots here for the USA. But New Zealand cannot be careless with the ball. <laughs> and there you have Mr. Fareed. And I think Vucinic is upset because just a, a little bit of lackadaisical ball handling. No, I, they just turn it right over. But I'm just watching Kenneth Fareed. I mean, he's asking for the ball. He's demanding the ball most of the time that he's on the floor. Look at the spectacular finish. That was a spin move all around his different. Look at it right here. And he's going up. This is incredible display of lettuce. Well, timeout New Zealand. USA now up. Well, you heard Vucinic say, hustle back quickly, uh, preparing for that fast break from the USA. I'll tell you what, Jeff, I'm looking at the stats and the minutes uh, for New Zealand, and already four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11 players have checked in for New Zealand. So I think the strategy to me is clear. I think that Coach Vucinic wants to play as many players as possible. So the players are saved and rested for the last two remaining games of New Zealand in the group. Well, not only that, it's the best way to play the USA if you keep fresh legs. I mean, we haven't seen Jared Kenny much, but now he's in the game, number eight. And he's a guy that can knock, knock down that jump shot. He gets some space out there. Everett Bartlett passes over to Ty, or Corey Webster. And Cousins called for the foul on B.J. Anthony. So B.J. Uh, Anthony's best game so far. So far, he's, he's really fighting hard there on the inside against a lot of bigger guys. And he's making his presence felt, if you ask me. I mean, he got his hand on a few, few rebounds there, threw some bodies around. Cousins asking B.J. Anthony if he's okay. <laughs> so he must have given him a shot or something. So Corey Webster is going to bring it in out to Bartlett. Corey Webster back to B.J. Anthony. No look pass. Now Bartlett, bounce pass. Oh, they worked for a good shot, but just could not compete uh, with that shot blocking of the USA. Now Harden comes in, and he draws the foul. He's so good at changing direction. It's incredible. And just immediately taking off and going to the basket hard. 
Oh, that was nothing there. Just two guys made sure that this shot was not going up. That's a double block right there. Derek Rose coming out and replaced again by Kyrie Irving. Harden has uh, been really, in many respects, more of a playmaker in this USA team than uh, out and out score, hasn't he? Well, I think he's matured a lot. I mean, on that on that last national team that he was part of, I think he was looking to score more, but now he just wants to make sure that his team wins. Well, Coach Krzyzewski has already uh, said that he's a leader of this team, along with Steph Curry. And he's playing like a leader, for sure. No question about it. Webster feels the, the contact from Harden. Gets the pick. Now, Rob Lowe rolls, but you can't get him the ball. And then USA take it right away from him. Oh, that was a nice double. And good hustle from Jared Kinney to come back and steal it for New Zealand. Now, they might get something in transition. Bartlett, good. Oh, yeah. Wide open. Makes, takes advantage. Three-pointer, 33-20. 33-23, I'm sorry. 10 point, 10 point lead for Team USA. 12 fast break points for the USA, five for New Zealand. And Clay Thompson gets inside and puts it up and in. Oh, nice pass from Webster to Lowe. They're really rotating it nicely. And another three pointer for Bartlett. You know, you can't have any complaints about New Zealand's passing game right now. But I think they are very loose. They, they, this has been the difference between the two games that they play. They couldn't hit the outside shot. Now they are, today they're relaxed against Team USA. They're knocking them down. But unfortunately, Team USA does the same thing. Clay Thompson just deadly beyond the arc. Yeah, Clay Thompson is uh, just a, a fantastic player. Jared Kinney. Six on the shot clock. Webster tries to get past Harden, puts up a long three. It's good. And it back to back to a nine-point game. Look at Webster also inspired by the shooting performance of Clay Thompson and Bartlett. And an N1 coming for the USA, the foul on Kenny. I think Kenny just couldn't do anything against Kyrie Irving who was well in motion. Davis comes back for Cousins. As well Curry for Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson didn't look too happy to be coming out of there, but same for Cousins. It's so I was looking at their faces. They just want to stay in there. Big competitors. Not easy to manage all the players if you get such high quality players at your disposal for Coach Kraszewski. They all feel they should be out there for 40 minutes. Low for three. And puts up an air ball. So we've been talking about before. Rob Lowe just really likes to roam around the three point lane. I think it would be just really suitable for him to go down and try to make his presence felt with his size. I mean, with, with his long arms there on the basket. Curry to Anthony Davis. Kind of lost it, got it back. And Mika Vacona gets the rebound, hands it to Penny. Over to Bartlett. He's hit a couple of threes, almost, but Fareed with the rebound. Harden whips the pass over to Irving. Nice move by Kyrie Irving. Finished it with the left, but the way he crossed over his defender was just spectacular. That takes it up to a 14-point advantage. Penny for three. They're not passing up any shots, I tell you what, New Zealand. If they have a look, they're going to put it up. And Anthony Davis goes in. And Mika Vukona, he's not going to give you anything easy. It's just in his mentality. He knew he was beat by Anthony Davis, but just fouled him pretty hard, put him on the line. 
Look at the finish by Kyrie Irving. What a speed. What an explosiveness. Beautiful move by him. Anthony Davis seems to have uh, recovered from the eye problem that he had earlier. Back in. Vacuna over to, uh, well, he couldn't get it to Kenny. And Rob Lowe unnecessarily turns into Kyrie Irving. Fouls him. Kind of a hard foul as Irving was running past. Watch this. He gets it. I mean, he just stuck it, stuck out his backside. And uh, coach is going to take Rob Lowe out. He doesn't seem to really be in kind of the flow of New Zealand's World Cup campaign. I don't know. I mean, I was. I mean, to be honest, after watching the the practice before the World Cup started, I was expecting a lot more from him. This was a little bit too high. I know Anthony Davis is a great athlete, and he can just go up and get all the passes. <laughs> Steph Curry will just do that one really high up. He was just testing him to see how high he could go. So now he knows the limit. So Frank is back in there, but has the ball taken away by Kyrie Irving. And Kyrie Irving has blistering pace, but they can stop on a dime and put that shot up. Terrific. Uh, Spell of play from Kyrie Irving even after he takes the shot from Rob Lowe. Timeout, USA 47, New Zealand 29. Zealand fans. A good group of New, New Zealand fans came out here. I was surprised, but tells you about the dedication and the love of sports they have. Just because it's so far to come, I mean, it, I'll probably follow them anywhere. Bartlett. I mean, who wouldn't want to come to Bilbao? I was excited when I found out I was coming. Incredible city, and we walked around. Pass inside to Anthony Davis, and the foul. So, Vukona. Sort of uh, funny as you see Davis and Abercrombie is going to come into the game. I'll tell you what, I was I was looking at uh, the biography of Mika Vukona. Now I know why he's so tough, because he played rugby till he was 15. So he is tough as nails. I mean, <laughs> if you play rugby, <laughs> you're a tough man. And his mother made him play basketball. She said it was too dangerous. I thought all uh, New Zealand players were playing uh, rugby. You grow up with it, don't you? Pretty sure BJ must have, but this is all about basketball. Basketball as well can be a, a tough sport at times. And you got to be tough if you're going up against the USA. So he wants to be out there. You can see he's got the competitive juices flowing. And but Fareed you, just you, you can't better, keep him off the glass. You better put a body on Kenneth Fareed because if you don't, he's going to make you pay for it. Kenneth Fareed just being instrumental there for Team USA. I mean, he's playing such a high pace. Now Ty Webster back in. Out it goes to Penny. Pump fake. Puts up a J. Good. Nice move by Penny. Really faked his player out. Was able to hit the shot. Curry puts it up. And it was read by Vukona, but Anthony Davis was able to go up and get the ball. Good job to recover the ball. The pass was a little bit behind him. Came down with it and scored the easy two. Nobody could reach him on that one. Penny behind the arc. And Abercrombie gets the rebound. We have not seen anything as in terms of scoring from Thomas Abercrombie. He's averaging 20 points in the tournament so far. He's got zero. Hasn't really got into any shooting position. Well, he played at Washington, Washington, didn't he? Washington State. Washington State. So a couple of Washington State guys out there. Clay Thompson guarding him. A 
And of course, New Zealand already five team fouls, so. U.S. gonna go to the line every time they be fouled, so Steph Curry, not a bad free throw shooter, had the line. DeMar DeRozan will come in uh, once Curry, I believe, is taking his free throws. You know, you, New Zealand have come in here 0-2. They need to get on track. They need to get on track with a win, and at least they need to get some positive vibes if they can't get the win against the USA. Hey, but if I'm Team New Zealand, I think that it's, it hasn't been a bad showing. I think that they, they're doing a good job passing the ball, moving the ball, taking open shots. They are thinking about it twice. So I, I think that they can take something positive out of this. DeRozan and Mason Plumley coming in. Ty Webster puts up a soft shot. There's Abercrombie flying in like he has done so far in this competition. Can he maintain possession? He's going to hold on to the ball. It's going to be a jump ball. So the jump ball possession arrow goes over to. But did you see how high Th Thomas, I, Thomas Abercrombie can get? It's incredible. I mean, his leaping ability and the quickness, he can get off the floor. So New Zealand maintain possession. Corey Webster is going to come in as well here for Mika Vakona. Vakona just doesn't want to come out, does he? What a competitor. Webster. Now he's got it back. Off the foot of Thompson. Fourteen seconds on the shot clock. Here's another look at him. He was trying to cross him over. Yeah, cross it back. Now his brother Corey Webster gets it over to Frank. Pump fake. And he gets inside. Oh, there's the aerial artistry of Thomas Abercrombie. That's what he can do for his team. What an athlete. I mean, he can really get up and control the ball after receiving it in midair. Now Plumley goes oh. up against Frank. He's going to go one-on-one. -on -one. DeRozan. Oh, beautiful stroke from DeRozan. He's, he's a reliable shooter out there. He's a reliable shooter, but on this star-loaded team, he just doesn't have, doesn't get enough playing time. Penny from just inside the arc. I think he had his foot on the line. And Plumley with the rebound. Clay Thompson was asking for the ball in the right corner. USA run the play. Thompson. Well, that's... Way off by his standards. Now, Abercrombie. And Abercrombie can't fall asleep out there. Now with Kyrie Irving behind you. Good job there by Kyrie Irving to get back on defense. Slap the ball away from Abercrombie. This is the replay of Abercrombie. Almost tip dunk by Abercrombie. Good drive there by Casey Frank and follow up there by Abercrombie. Yep. Nice athletic play there. DeRozan throws it off the back of the rim. That was Ty Webster's uh, first foul. He's um, he's a huge prospect and hasn't been able, you know, until now, I don't think we've really seen the Ty Webster that we expected to see. So well, he's very young. I mean, he's still very young. So I think that if New Zealand qualifies for the world, for the Basketball World Cup in four years, we're going to see a completely, in five years, I'm sorry, we're going to see a completely different player. Three comes out. Always gets a big ovation. I think all the fans here in the arena really appreciate the effort level that he plays at. Yeah, Coach Krzyzewski appreciates it. There you see DeRozan, his uh, 2.01 meters in height, 25 years old. Rudy Gay is back, back out there for Farid. And palming is the call against Ty Webster. Also one of the things that the referees have been looking for. 
Well, the boos are raining down on the referees for that call. To break up the play. But rules are the rules. Plumlee Plum has it knocked away by Anthony, but he's fouled. What an interesting story there with Plumlee. He was there in the select squad, and he played su such a good basketball, made a great impression with, with his worth, work ethic that he was then added to the squad. It's interesting when you put together a squad and the fact he had the advantage of having played for Coach Krzyzewski at Duke for four years. But I think that Coach Krzyzewski made it very clear. I mean, he, had, he has a core of eight, nine guys, but then he was looking for three more guys that would just create a perfect team. That they will not be upset. They don't get enough playing time. They will be happy to be here and just take the minutes that they are there for them. And this is, this is Mason Plumley. I see him here before every game. He's working very hard there with Coach Williams. So, I mean, he's making the most out of it. Anytime he gets on the floor, he just plays very, very hard. Former track and field star in high school. Competed at long jump and high jump. So he, <laughs> he's an incredible athlete. So he's got some brothers that play, play the game as well. At, and all with Duke connections. But gosh, he missed a couple of free throws there. Now, four on the shot clock inside to B.J. Anthony, where he's been effective. Good move there by B.J. Anthony. Without the ball, I mean, he found his spot and made an easy basket there underneath. Back to a 22-point game now. DeRozan's pass out of bounds. A little bit of sloppy play here from the USA. Benny Charles Anthony, Jr., Born 20th of July, 1988, in New Zealand. So the J really, I guess maybe it's junior. Oh, the reach, the knock away. So sloppy play by New Zealand. A good D from Clay Thompson and Kyrie Irving. Twenty seconds to go here in the first half. Thompson gets in the lane and his pass. Oh, that wasn't a good pass. I mean, no. he just threw it at ankles of Plumley. There was no way that the big man could have gotten it. Webster gets free and again has it taken away in that corner. And New Zealand get it right back and it's Webster right at the end of the half. Misses Corey Webster and the United States well, you know, New Zealand, uh, I think, have shown flashes of really good play today, but they're down 57 to 35 against the defending champions. Well, welcome back to Bilbao. It's the second half action of USA and New Zealand. James Harden, fear the beard. Right off the gates, James Harden dead on there from a three-point lane. Good shot by him. Didn't waste any time. Abercrombie, seen a little bit from him tonight. And Ty Webster going up against Derrick Rose. Now Penny hits the, that's goaltending. That is, it's a good call. It was on the way down. Kenneth Fareed, a little bit frustrated. Look at that one more time. That's elevation. That would have been a spectacular block if it would, if it would have been a split second earlier, but another split. Athletic play by Kenneth Reed. Oh, and the dunk from Mr. Harden. Wow, did he explode on that? I asked for the dunk in the first half and finally got it from Harden. Well, I was telling you he was more the creator in this World Cup, FIBA Basketball World Cup, than, uh, than score. But here he is. A couple of quick baskets from him. Low. 
And good hustle there from Ty Webster. And Mika Vacona short with the jumper. Quickly to the other end, Derrick Rose. Penny called for the foul on Rose. I mean, it's incredible speed that Team USA can come down with. This was the dunk. Whoa, what an explosion right there. Look at that, how he rate. Just goes up and brings it down over the defender. No chance there for any block at all. Rose uh, Sivucinic, not really too many answers that you can come up for with this uh, USA team when they're in this type of form. Well, I don't think he's looking for answers to, to beat the United States. I think he's just trying to accomplish something positive by his players as far as execution of offense, making things, making some basic things well on defense and just take it to the next, next two games. Abercrombie goes up and... It's partially blocked, I think, yep. by Harden. That's rarely you see that at Team USA just slows it down, looks down low. Davis squaring up. Fareed with the rebound and blocked by Webster. Gets it back over to Curry. Look at, the, look at the movement of the ball. And Harden travels. Oh, the ball just doesn't stick in the hands of any players, does it, Jeff? I mean, when they are double, they just immediately pass it, recognize the double team, look for an open shooter. Penny comes back to help out. Gets it up to Vukona. Abercrombie goes up for the dunk. The two-handed variety. Nice stuff there by Thomas Abercrombie. We called him a great athlete, which he is. Very lanky and quick off the floor. And Lowe's defense forces a turnover. So it's Rose that starts here in the second half and not Kyrie Irving. Penny gets his way in and was looking to make that pass out to the perimeter, but Rose read it beautifully. And he's telling, hey, you got to tell me. <laughs> Let's talk out here. <laughs> Vakona catches it, goes right at Anthony Davis, and travels. Harden, up it goes, and another alley-oop pass to Anthony Davis. They make it seem so easy. But Anthony Davis, he can really get up there. And Ty Webster missed it. Rob Lowe was there for the follow, but couldn't knock it down. Penny tries to get some space, and the kick. Okay. Oh, the number four. So they're going to reset the shot clock to 14. There's the replay of Davis's latest jam and the creator. And there's El Fareed. Get ready. Get ready. Well, couldn't quite get a hold of it to put up a spectacular dunk, but it was a dunk nevertheless. And again, it has to play by Kenneth Fareed. He's just really playing with so much effort. Abercrombie. Follows the shot. Harden, though, quickly to the other end and gets it inside to Davis, and Davis is fouled. I mean, I was watching Derrick Rose fill in the lane. I mean, he was like a world-class sprinter. Did you see the speed? I mean, the way he got from one side of the court to another without the ball, incredible. 
There's the foul. Lowe sits down. Well, New Zealand have backed themselves into a corner with uh, two straight losses to start this tournament as Davis takes the free throws. And remember, New Zealand had victory within sight against Turkey and just sort of imploded. Absolutely had it in their hands. They were up by 12 points in the last quarter and just completely came apart, lost that game. It must have been very difficult. And quite frankly, Jeff, I think that had a huge impact for them that they got transferred to game two. Yeah, for the Dominican Republic. That was not the opponent they needed for their next game. Penny falls down, eight on the shot clock. Webster uh, goes up. That was a beautiful play. And Vukona, and now Vucinic is saying that should have been a goal 10 because the ball had already hit the backboard. Yeah, but a good follow up there by Mika Vukona. Just always stays with the ball, never gives up. And Davis turned away into the hands of Penny. He got behind the backboard. He was surprised himself how far he was behind the backboard. There's Webster. Nice pass to Vicona. That was a great pass, wasn't it? <laughs> Everybody was expecting him to take the shot. Rose and Abercrombie. I think overall Ty Webster's looked pretty good today. DJ Anthony, Corey Webster are going to check in. Here's another look at the, yeah, that was uh, one that was missed, I think. The, hits the backboard. Well, you got two great shot blockers just trying to block it. It's not easy to really spot it. The referees, very difficult job in a game like this. Yeah, and you, star studded athletes. As you said it, they followed it up anyway, so it was insignificant. Penny, back outside to Frank. Let's see what he's got from his three-point arsenal. Harden felt the uh, foul coming and tried to put up the three, but foul was before the shot, third team foul. Anthony Davis up to 15 points. Kenneth Farid with 13. So two big guys of the United States leading the way in scoring. Farid is going to go back to the basket against B.J. Anthony. B.J. Anthony's really distinguished himself today. He's been yeah. pretty effective in there. I think he's played some solid defense, got some offensive oh. rebounds. Look at the pass right there. What a spectacular heads-up play by B.J. Anthony. Too Corey bad. Webster. He just could not finish it. And for the second consecutive time <laughs> in the same spot, Abercrombie reaches in and fouls to kind of stop the play. Nice here's, backdoor pass. It's too bad uh, Webster didn't go with his left hand here. Maybe if he'd gone with the left hand. Fotu going to come into the game for Abercrombie. Curry, top of the key, entry pass, kick. So, 14, 14. Yep. They don't need to reset it, do they? Well, Bilbao is a basketball city. There's a lot of basketball played in this area. They have a team in the Spanish top flight. Hey, but how about the organizers? Did they just do a superb job of turning Bilbao into a basketball crazy city? The yeah. fan zone, yeah, everything. The fan I mean, it's been fantastic. an incredible experience, Jeff. It has. We're breathing basketball 24 hours a day. Webster over to Anthony for three. Wow, he's, this is his game, isn't it? He's feeling it. I mean, playing with such poise and confidence, this is the best game that we have seen out of B.J. Anthony. Derrick Rose goes down. He took it hard there, defense of New Zealand, just lost the ball, lost the control. Watch this. Here's B 
BJ is going to step out. That's what you need to do against shot blockers. If you f believe in your shot, just take a step back, wide open, just knocks it down. Good play there by BJ Anthony. I mean, he's a powerful and muscular guy who mostly you would expect to roam the in interior, but he's capable of stepping outside and hitting a shot. Clay Thompson's uh, off target, but Curry's there. He's off target. And then Drummond, who's come into the game for the first time, gets the rebound. There was nothing left to do but, but foul Drummond. Too close to the basket, but USA is in the bonus. Look at that, Jeff. Zero team fouls for USA and five for New Zealand. USA just doing a really good job, just staying in, in, bit in front of their guys, and not committing any fouls. Always reserved, Coach Kershevsky. Yes, Always sure. thinking about the next move. Ah, oh, and that was Thompson who challenged for the rebound and ended up getting the points. 70 to 44. And it was offensive rebound number 12 for Team USA. Penny. Foto. Back in the hands of uh, Curry. Up the floor. Too much for Thompson. Well, they got to come down and help out. And B.J. Anthony does just get it in in time. But look at the American players just bringing out the pressure. Rudy Gay was out there pressuring the inbounder. Oh, Steph Curry read it. Here we go. And the dunk. Not the most spectacular dunk, but. It counts but, for two, Jeff. Yes, it does. And I'm not one to point fingers. 74-44. Foto scraps, gets it back, puts it up and in. Good recovery there by Isaac Foto. It almost seemed like he was going to lose the ball. Clay Thompson. He's wasting no time. He's been really taking some very quick shots today. And the foul called on Curry. It looked like Penny picked up his dribble when he shouldn't have. And kind of watch. Here's the, the play from Foto. Way to stay with that. For four two. Between three defenders almost. He managed to find a way to score. Another look at that. Hustle play from Foto. Showed some dexterity on that play. Twenty minutes in the game for Steph Curry. Twelve points, four rebounds, and two assists. Solid game. Here comes uh Webster running off the screen, but Thompson gets right on top of him. And goes up. Oh, that was a little bit of, okay, you want to guard me? Take this. What a play. I mean, it's a flying motion that it, Webster showed on that play. Hang in the air, change the ball. Mason Plumley goes to B.J. Anthony. Plumley gives it to Gay. Good hustle from Mason Plumley. Nope, not there. And Drummond follows it up, but offensive foul, I think, on Drummond. Coming from behind the push. He's just too strong there for Casey Frank. I mean, he just flew away from him. I don't know if we're going to see the replay. This is Mason. Yeah, this will be it. Watch. Whoa, get off me, fly. That's what Drummond said. Or must have said. Just cleared out the area. Nice pass back to Webster. Or sorry, to uh, Frank. And it goes to Frank for the dunk. Nice play. Good job by Casey Frank. He just keeps moving. And you know that Drummond likes to stay on the basket. So he doesn't want to get out and guard him. At times, uh, New Zealand's uh, passing game tonight has been mesmerizing. But the reach and the foul on Plumlee. And I'll tell you what, New Zealand is using their fouls a lot. They're pretty smart about this is the play. Look at the cut. Anthony Frank just keeps moving.
Frank has been one of the good players today for New Zealand without question. Him and B.J. Anthony making things happen on the inside, both offensively and defensively. Mason Plumley missed both free throws there in the first half. A lot better shooting form and confidence in the first shot here. One Short for four. It. Yep. Plays for Brooklyn in the NBA. Yeah, about 16 minutes in the season. Averaging about 12 points. Not a bad prospect. As we said before, just really fought hard for the spot on this squad. Rudy Gay's on, on the court right now. He wasn't even in the preliminary squad. And uh, they, his agent contacted USA Basketball to say, hey, my, my guy's available if you need him after a couple of injuries. And they invited him back to camp. He was on the 2010 team. Webster. And New Zealand send three people to the glass, but the USA get the ball. Irving. And he leads it just a little too much to uh, Plumley. And I would say the pass was a little bit too late, too. He was picking up the ball. He didn't have a complete control. They just threw it behind Plumley. I think they played together at Duke, right? He must yeah, have I, spent I didn't want to say anything, but that was uh, Duke's specialty there. Here we go. We've got Frank turning How around and drills it. How about Casey Frank? I mean, is he just remembering best days of his career? <laughs> well, he's a good player. He, you know, he won a heated battle for the uh, naturalized spot in the New Zealand roster against another former Duke player, Nick Horvath. Oh, it wasn't an easy decision. Coach Wuching spoke about it. He said it was extremely difficult. Lindsey Tate. And they're going to count it. I thought they were going to call travel at first. <laughs> that was a nice move, the way he picked up the ball, changed the direction. He's laughing about it. Or maybe the, the New Zealand will come away with some good confidence after this game. Lindsey Tate has played a lot of games for the tall blacks but i'll tell you what i mean if they keep up the intensity it's only a 20 point game at the moment this could be a confidence booster for them you know were it not for the prodigious talent the promise of ty webster lindsey tate might even have more minutes he's a pretty good ball player himself as well as jared kennedy final three seconds here of the quarter and irving drives in good Follow that misses the shot, Mason Plumley. So the United States uh, leading it. I think they actually lost that quarter by a point. New Zealand are also going to play Ukraine and Finland after this game. Oh, that's going to be a huge game against Ukraine. Ukraine uh, won big emotional game today. After they and Ukraine just, will also have to play USA in their last game. So if they could get the head-to-head -head on that one, you never know. Well, welcome back to the action here. Fourth quarter, USA on top of New Zealand, 75-54. Curry, Anthony Davis, Fareed, Harden. And Rose back in the game. Bartlett passes over to uh, Fotu. Webster, Corey Webster, Lindsey Tate, and Casey Frank in the game for New Zealand. Frank, the pump fake. Oh, and he turned a golden opportunity, perhaps for a dunk, and he missed it. And what happens? Well, they're not punished that, that time. Almost looked like St Steph Curry had a very wide open shot. He usually makes that one. Tate, oh, the reach, the foul is called on Curry. A little he frustration there. Yeah, he doesn't think you fouled him. It's the third foul there for Steph Curry. There haven't been too many fouls called on the USA tonight. There's only been nine fouls. Tom Thibodeau, Mike Krzyzewski there, the bench, DeMarcus Cousins. Checking out the action. Lindsey Tate off target. 
And Curry there asking for an explanation from the referee who made the call, what, what he saw. All the referee can do is call what he sees. For sure, they don't have the luxury of this slow motion replay. Rose kind of floats in. Now, Bartlett. Tate looks at his options, floats in, gets blocked, and saves it, but then throws it out of bounds. A little bit of a revenge that time from Curry. I thought it. Derrick Rose just landed really hard after that last drive and the shot that he took on his back. Was rubbing his lower back, but I think he seems okay. Harden. Uh-oh. Another one. Oh, yeah. If you let him go to his left and you give him some space, he'll finish it. And if you're racked too late, now the nice pass. And that time Tate makes it. How about the backdoor passes? I mean, some incredible ones. Quickly to the other end, the USA, the follow from Anthony Davis, but the foul called before. Hey, somebody's got to pick up James Harden a little bit earlier than that. That's the second time that he's been just so open. Casey Frank with that foul. Tate comes out of the game. Doesn't want to come out. Jared Kenny comes back in as you see the replay. I mean, it was a sure mental lapse there by New Zealand on defense. Nobody at all picked up James Harden. Sure, Coach Butchin didn't like that one. Still a very comfortable lead there for Team USA. 21 points, 78 to 57. You know, it's worth remembering these teams have faced each other before New Zealand in 2000 lost to the United States quite decisively. But don't forget, two years later, they made it to the semifinals of the uh, FIBA World Championship in Indianapolis. So New Zealand is a, a basketball country. Derek Rose puts up a three. Yeah, that stays out, but Farid is there. You got to be strong. You got to know when Kenneth Farid is in there. You got to box him out. I mean, you just cannot give him any space to start running or start moving because then he's so active and strong that he's just going to wrestle away the, the rebound from you. Foto hands it off to Webster, fouled by Rose. I mean, Derek Rose is just getting really after it defensively. This Look was at James Harden. Nobody charged it down. Casey Frank would have switched, but no defensive effort by him whatsoever. Bartlett living dangerously, throws it into the hands of Davis. Get ready! Well, you might think that he will, when you consider his situation, he's going to be around for a long time with this USA team, isn't he? He's so young. 21 how, years old. How good is he going to become? With his soft shooting touch, jumping ability. And New Zealand unable to get the shot off in time. So the USA turning it up a notch here in the fourth quarter. Seven minutes remaining. Uh, there's the guy that's been blowing the whistle. Occasionally you hear that whistle. You think maybe uh, play is stopping. Harden steps back. And Fareed called for the push. He's not happy about it. Seems like he wants to get every rebound that comes off the rim. What a competitor. These guys are so ferocious. But I got to tell look you. At, when, I mean, look at it. I mean, he's coming up just to guard Casey Frank inbounding good 20 meters from the basket. I'm sure he would love to double the ball. Oh, Bartlett, unnecessary. And you know what that means. He tried to commit the foul to stop the play. Look at the finger roll. 
the finger roll. Now it takes it back up to an 84-57 lead for the United States. A little bit shaken. New Zealand squad, they just walked to the bench during the timeout. They just give the, the best they have. I just see this five right here, and w whether it's Rose or Irving, as being able to just uh, take it up to a different level for the USA. There you see Fareed with the 15 points, Davis with 19, Curry with 12, Harden 11, Thompson 10. So they're spreading it around. Curry with the rebound. Rose back outside to Anthony Davis. And oh, just a manimal. I think that's what he's called, right? And Anthony Davis with the follow. I think I think at this stage right now, Fareed is the most valuable player of this team. There you see Bartlett. Just because of the energy standpoint, the energy aspect. Five and a half minutes to go. The United States seeking their third consecutive win here at the FIBA Basketball World Cup. And Harden drives in. Razzle dazzle. There'll be a substitution of all five players, it seems. And besides Shooter Harden, every new four players gonna come to the floor. Cousins, Rudy Gay, DeRozan. Irving, and if Harden's gonna make his free throws, then it's gonna be Clay Thompson. So all five players likely to be changed by Coach Krzyzewski. Remember, Turkey led the United States uh, 28 minutes into the game, and then uh, Gave way. Just couldn't maintain the intensity. They played a perfect game plan there for 28 minutes, but not in the last 12. Yeah, Vukona, he's going to help with bringing up the ball as a power forward. Of course, he doesn't mind. <laughs> Now Irving into the corner. Rudy Gay. The cousin, DeMarcus Cousins uh, chased that ball out of bounds. You know, Vicona would be, uh, he's an undersized power forward in terms of height, but he's uh, oversized in the heart department. He's going to have to show plenty of that for the rest of this tournament for New Zealand if they want to stay in it and advance to Barcelona. Rob Lowe misses a, a three. Good hustle from uh, Vicona. We're just talking about his hustle. That's what you called for. Oversized in the heart department, Mika Vicona. If he goes out of the floor, a lot of intensity comes out too. Bartlett fouled up top by Tamar DeRozan. So New Zealand stays with the ball with 14 seconds on the shot clock, four minutes to go in the game. USA 88, New Zealand 57. Still no Zealand player has got is in the double figures in the scoring department. 
Well, Kenny can put it up, but he hasn't really uh, had a chance traveling on Rob Lowe. Jerry Kenny sags a little bit on defense. Uh, DeRozan, he uh, travels. It's been a, a frustrating, a frustrating end. A frustrating game for DeRozan. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't have an easy role. He just comes there for a few minutes off the bench, so it's not easy for him to get going. Of course, he's used with around the Raptors to be the primary man. That's a good point, actually. It's not easy for these guys to accept all the roles. I mean, Coach K spoke about it, how important it is. I mean, they try their best, but it's not easy. Well, clearly, New Zealand uh, came into this game as huge underdogs against the United States. But as we've remarked, they've had good passages of play. And, and the aim is to really be steely focused, determined, concentrated for their next two games. And I think they're good enough, without question, to beat Ukraine. Oh, nice play inside. And, you know, they're good enough to beat Finland, so they're right in the fight to get to that round of 16, but they'll have to do something they haven't done yet, and that's win a game. I mean, they're going to have their backs against the wall, so it's going to be all or nothing. Rudy Gay looked off the pass. And Irving almost creates another turnover. Look at the pass there by DeRozan. The Cousins up in the air, 360. And Cousins easy too. Bartlett gets in, whips over to Foto. They make the extra pass, and finally Lowe knocks one down. Finally for Rob Lowe. That's a six point in 15 minutes. Rebounds to go with that. Bounce pass to DeRozan. Fouled by Jared Kinney. Hard drive there by DeMar DeRozan. I like him. He's also a very young player. Can really put it down on the floor. This was a three-pointer by Rob Lowe. Of course, Marcus Cousins doesn't like to get out and guard him there on the perimeter, so there was a slight advantage that... Rob Lowe explored for three points. Would you expect all of these uh, USA players to go back as better players when they return to their clubs? Well, I'm sure they got some solid training there before they came here. And, you know, let's see how they do in the tournament. Po two, three pointers good. I'm sure the competition is gonna get even better as the tournament progresses. Irving and Cousins tries to get the ball, goes out of bounds. There's Harden. He looks so very focused. And Cousins was uh, backing down Kenny. Um, substantial. Uh, just kind of had him on his back. Just yeah. flailing there for his dear life. <laughs> Third 
Two minutes and seven seconds remaining. They tried to get inside. They do to Gay. And his shot is blocked by B.J. Anthony. I mean, B.J. Anthony is just all over the place here today. Seven points, three rebounds. Anthony goes up for the dunk. And he makes it. It wasn't a dunk. He squeezed it through. Somehow he managed <laughs> just to squeeze the ball through and just went in. So nine points for him. And again a defensive play, play by B.J. Anthony. And old Jared Kinney down there at the bottom of the pile underneath Cousins is getting up. <laughs> it's one thing to be riding him on the back, but another thing to be under him. Oh, it's better to be on top of the pile than on the bottom. Bartlett, low, and they fell asleep there quickly to the other end. It's Clay Thompson just kind of glides in for an easy one. Well, you know, the USA averaging more than 100 points in this tournament, and right now they're not there. That would be uh, perhaps a confidence booster. Still a minute to go. They might get there very quick. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I suppose when you get when you get beat, you get beat, and if you get beat, you know, by more than 20, 25 points, there's not going to be much consolation in that. Here's uh, B.J. Anthony. You said he squeezed it. That was a good way to describe that. That's a squeeze dunk. It's a new word. Squeeze for the dunk. terminology. Yeah, squeeze dunk. B.J. Anthony just. Uh, I think he might be in double figures now. He is. He's got yep. 11 points, so that seals it. I'm telling you. He's been he, the, the he's player really of the doing game. That. Yep. Irving for three. Well, they might just get that. They, they must have heard you, Jeff. How many times has happened if we call something here? It's complete opposite happens on the court. The curse, the commentator's curse. Bartler, Bartlett rather, looks for foe two. Bartlett for three. Oh, banks it in. 98-70. And we'll see if that's how it finishes up. And Irving decides not to take it until after the shot, after the buzzer. So the United States win it 98 to 71 over New Zealand.